Data Venetis is the 11th organization member you have to fight in the Limit Cut episode and in this video I'm gonna share with you how to beat him on critical mode. So guys, let's get into it. I will break this video down in three parts where I first talk about the pre-fight, this means equipment, abilities, stats, etc. before attempting to fight Venetis. Then I will show you his moveset, where you will get to know how to counter his moves, when you have to be defensive and when there are openings to attack him. And as last, the full actual fight, so you will get an idea how the fight will play out. So first I recommend being max level before you attempt this boss fight. It does help you a lot because you will do more damage and have more defensive stats. If you aren't max level yet, I recommend you go to Battle Gate 12 in San Francisco and keep redoing it once you hit max level. And while you're at it, equip the Lucky Ring because in that Battle Gate, you will get materials for creating strength boost. So when you're done, you can create some extra damage. You can also use food to boost all your stats before the fight, but getting the highest stats with food can be a pain because those mini games can be very dragging to complete all the time to get the best food in the game. For the equipment in this fight, I use the Ultima weapon here. The other keyblades don't really matter. For the armor, I use Buster Band Plus, Cosmic Belt Plus and Royal Ribbon. They give you a lot of defense stats. For accessories, I use Crystal Regalia, Cosmic Art and Flan Badge. They give you a lot of damage stats. For items, I mostly use high potions to heal and Ether to regain magic, but if you want, you can use the best item and that is Elixir if you have them to spare. Now for the abilities, if you have them all locked on like me, you should be able to do the same thing I share with you in this video. For the shortcuts, I used Thunder, Fire, Blizzard, and Cure. But that was it for the pre-fight. Now let's get into the moveset to show you how to counter him. So Venetus' combos are very random. So memorizing how to counter the combo, what he is doing is key here. So you want to know how to block the combo and know when there is a potential opening within the combo. So here he will do three strikes to create a shockwave, then dodges afterwards and does the three strikes again. So for this combo, you want to block the first two shockwaves, then dodge the last one and block the first two again. But then use your block counter to burn through the third shockwave and create an opening. The next attack is his diving fire eruption or whatever you want to call it. For this attack, it is best to keep dodging away for the first two times he goes above the ground and by the last one, stand near where he is about to come up and block his fire eruption. Then use your block counter to burn through his following ice slam so you get an opening. He will also just slam you three times in a row, leaving the last one with an ice attack to break your block. So here you can use your risk dodge ability to get an opening after he broke your block. Or when you block the second slam, you can do your block counter to burn through the third attack and this way you also have an opening. For his fireball attack, I just blocked this combo because the fire will track you down if you dodge it. So first he will do two quick fireballs in a row and does this two times. Then he teleports up to five times and ends up on your left side. Then casts a fireball, then waits and teleports in your face with a fireball. Teleports around again, then fires a slow moving ball and follows it up with a fast one after teleporting and ends it with a fast fireball. One of the most annoying attacks he does is when he teleports right in your face and slashes at you up to three times very quickly and then does a slam, teleports away to dodge and then strikes you following up with a slam. He will also summon a horde of keyblades and then rides on it and then cast three blizzard charge at you. To dodge these I jump in the air and use my air dodge to avoid them but after he will charge at you so be ready to block after you dodge. Then he will do this again. And for the third time, he will cast 6 blizzard shards at you and launches the horde of keyblades at you. What you will need to dodge because you can't block this attack. And if you are fast enough, you can get an opening right after he is on the ground again. When you get him to like half HP, he will ride his keyblades and go to the middle and he will do a fixed cycle of attack. So they will always go the same and it goes as followed. Here he will strike you 2 times, then does a blockable attack. So you need to dodge this one, then 3 strikes with a slam after it, follows it up with 3 more strikes and thus 3 unblockables after it. 
Then he does three strikes with an unblockable and waits a little bit before doing another unblockable. Then strikes you once and follows it up with a slam. Then comes a unblockable again and finishes it with a slam. You can counter the attacks where he rides his keyblades. If you use Thunder just before he lands on the keyblades to block it. And you can focus jump to him for an opening. But be careful you want to not fully do your combo because he will smack you. After his half HP he will do two more attacks. Here he will launch keyblades at you up to three times. Then strikes you. Launches keyblades at you again and then erupts with casting keyblades. For the second new combo, he will cast a fireball and strikes you right after up to two times and casts two fast fireballs in a row, strikes you after it, then strikes you with three single shockwaves and ends it with a three time shockwave in a row. But that was the whole moveset, now we move on to the full actual fight itself so you will get an idea how the fight goes. So here at the start, he will either do his slam attack most of the time or his shockwave attack. But he did the shockwave for me, so here I'm gonna block this attack and get some damage in. And after the damage, I always just cast Blizzard. So here he does his fire eruption, so I'm dodging away the first two times and then block the third one and use the counter attack to get an opening. So here he will cast his fireball, so I just let this cycle play out and keep blocking it. And he mostly does the shockwave attack after, so it is really easy to get an opening in. So now he's half HP, so you need to get ready to cast Thunder to block the attack where he rides the Keyblades. So you can get a quick opening in and block the whole damage cycle. Here he does the shockwaves again. At this point, you really want to hope he does those attacks what are really easy to counter and have great openings to get damage in. And in my case, he didn't do the three annoying attacks where he instantly teleports in your face and strikes you. And here we're gonna get him. Too slow. But guys, that is how you beat Data of Anitas in the Limit Cut episode. I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. If it did, don't forget to smash the like button. Let me know in the comments how you experienced the fight. And if you want more related gaming content, then subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you won't miss a single upload. But I thank you guys for watching. Now go get him.